Hey guys, it's Jamie from No Getting Off This Train, and today I'm going to show you how to make Instant Pot Lentil Burrito Bowls. Lentils have become one of my favorite vegetarian foods. First of all, they're super cheap. You can't beat paying a dollar for a one pound bag. You can make one bag last several meals. Secondly, they're really easy to cook. They take less time than dried beans, and you can use lentils in many different ways. I've made sloppy joes and curry with lentils, and they're still two of my favorite recipes. This particular recipe has turned out to be a favorite as well. Using the same spices you would for taco meat gives these a perfect flavor and can be used any way you would use taco meat. Inside burritos, quesadillas, or a burrito bowl like I'm gonna show you today. And it's all done inside your Instant Pot. So, let me show you how it's made. Start by chopping one medium onion. I like to cut off both ends first and then cut it right down the middle because that makes it easier for me to slice it into smaller pieces. Next, add one tablespoon of olive oil to your Instant Pot, and then add your onions. Turn the Instant Pot to the saute function, and cook the onions for one to two minutes until the onions are translucent. While the onions are cooking, you can go ahead and measure out your lentils in a one cup container. Make sure you pick through them pretty well for rocks. Sometimes you will find rocks in dried beans or lentils. I like to pour mine into a colander to do that. Once you pick through your lentils, go ahead and rinse them off and add them to the Instant Pot. Next, add two cups of either water or broth, vegetable broth if you want to keep it vegan, or I added two chicken bouillon cubes. Next, add two teaspoons of chili powder. One tablespoon of cumin. And about a half teaspoon of salt and pepper. And then give everything a good stir. Place the lid on the Instant Pot and turn the knob to the sealing function. Set the Instant Pot to pressure cook for 15 minutes, keeping in mind that it'll probably take about 10 extra minutes for the Instant Pot to heat up. Once it's finished, let it do a 10 minute natural release and very carefully turn the knob to venting. Then once all the steam has been let out, open up the lid and check to see if the lentils are done. All of the liquid should be already cooked out of it and they should be nice and soft. They look pretty good. Let's go ahead and make the bowl. I like to start mine out with a huge bed of romaine lettuce. And I'll add a few bell peppers as well. I also cooked some quinoa in my rice cooker and I added that to my bowl as well with the lentils. Now if you're not vegan you can also add sour cream and cheese to yours. I just chose to add some extra jalapenos. You can leave those out if you don't like spicy. I also added some salsa to mine as well. Now this burrito bowl serves six so you can get at least six or more servings of lentils. It makes a really huge burrito bowl. It's absolutely delicious. Now, some of you may not have an Instant Pot and may have a slow cooker instead. While I haven't tried it yet, you can certainly cook this in your slow cooker. I'd suggest cooking on low for seven to eight hours or high to three to four hours. Just check it often to see if the lentils are done. I hope you enjoy these Instant Pot lentils. If you want the printable recipe, there's a link in the description with the blog post that goes with this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for future updates of recipes, grocery hauls, and other meal planning tips. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later.